And there she is, the old tricolour herself. So that's what all of that messing was about. Seems worth it to me. We're heading off up to the Fibsborough Monument. I believe it's to the, uh, this is it right here. This is not Michael Collins. This is actually a generalized monument to the Fibsborough Volunteers, I believe, of 1913. Now, it does look like him himself, doesn't it? It does have a feel for it, but the reason I'm doing a narration over this right now was because the traffic was so loud, you couldn't hear anything, it was awful. And there we have a bit of Asquelga there, just explaining the piece. Um, yeah, back to the show. Mel Gibson, Ashley Judd, Colin Farrell, Margot Robbie, James Dooley, Kevin Moran, Paul McGrath. The old Templar cross right there, digging it. That's where the old Irish monks used to run in there when the Vikings came along. They'd have a ladder down there and they'd burn it. That big penile tower there I'm talking about, boys. That, that right there. See, only in Ireland. 1916. Wait, what's that Heroes of Easter Week 1916. It's a monument to the boys. The original boys in green. Caught on scale Makara and welcome to the Michael Collins update. We're now strolling around Glasnevin Cemetery. But uh, we're on our way to a few of the graves. There's a couple. I was wrong about Patrick Pierce, he's not down here. Norris William Pierce. But Arthur Griffith is, uh, Kitty Kiernan, Harry Bolland, and um, Eamon De Valera. And uh, we're going to go and try and find them now. So I'll update you as we go and we'll approach the grave and we'll make up a couple of facts there to make us look smart. Wow. We think we might be on to Eamon de Valera. And digging the Templar crosses. Alright, all of you members of the Dak Nation, we're onto a hot lead. Well, it's cleared up there now, it? Oh yeah. Well, we're onto a hot lead. We we can it turns out Eamon de Valera's grave was actually surrounded by fair maidens. So we're going to mosey on down to an underestimated man of Irish freedom. He's a man that every crew should have. His name was Arthur Griffith. And man, did he have style. He's that guy uh, with the big moustache. Uh, the short stature guy. Walking alongside Michael Collins very frequently. And he was the big honcho. He did a lot of, a lot of stuff. And he did it in style. Like an old Wild West guy. 
Now, this is not from Game of Thrones. We're still in Glasnevin Cemetery. We're currently on the way to Arthur Griffith. Sorry, that's it. And my intrepid manservant has located. This is Arthur Griffith, as it says. First president of Dáil Éireann, of the Irish Free State, and founder of Sinn Féin. We went over that in our little video. This is the man himself. Author of The Resurrection of Hungary and Ballad History of Ireland. Read that. He was also the editor of the United Irishman, Sinn Féin. Scissors and paste. Thank you, Arthur. Nearly a hundred years dead. Nearly a hundred years dead. In August. Same as Michael Collins, a hundred years dead in August 1922. Well, a lot of they all die the same. Well, Arthur, I appreciate it, man. Appreciate all you did for this beautiful country of ours. Yeah, respect, mad respect. Now, as we figure out how to how to get to Harry Boland, uh, we'll talk a little bit about what happened. You know, Boland. Interestingly enough, I hope you can hear me now on this. It's it's very suspicious how he died as well, because uh, it seems like he was assured. That he was gonna be okay um, or maybe he just got to the point where he, he didn't give a nonce anymore but uh, there's actually a funeral procession coming in here but he was out in the open and he did head to the Grand Hotel where he stayed in he checked in there and then got shot by one of the Free State troops. All right, my car. We've got our a treasure map on our hands now. So the bumbling buffoonery ends here, and we're on our way to one Harry Boland. All right, everybody. We've tracked down the Republican walk. We found a bunch of the guys. We've got Jerry Boland and his brother. Harry Boland and his brother Jerry just up here and I'm gonna switch over to the camera and we'll walk up this oil of awesome now here's one Harry Boland Annie Boland she only passed in 1970 and Gerard, Gerald Boland, otherwise known as Jerry Boland. Now these two fellas, or the guys that look like Chicago gangsters, they had a cool style, a whole lot of them. But uh, Harry Boland was Michael Collins' best friend. And things went south. When they didn't agree on the treaty, Harry Boland followed Eamon de Valera out of the doll and thus started the or Civil War which is a shame because they all wanted the same thing just didn't agree on how to get it so god bless you harry you and all the men of the of the irish republic what a guy right forgive the noises but we have found the fair lady Kitty Kiernan, Michael Collins, Michael Collins is his uh, romantic interest where she was engaged to Michael Collins at the time of his death. Now, she ended up dying from tuberculosis, I think, or consumption. 
pretty young when she died as well. Their grandson Rex. What a name. Rex King. Their grandson was called Rex. Major General Felix Cronin. God bless you, kitty. See that right there? That's what it was all about. Not the piece of cloth or the colours itself, but for what it represents. This stuff doesn't come free. God bless you, kitty. Nice to meet you. And here, finally, after all of that, we have the Longfellow. Michael Collins' nemesis. I'm only joking, Dave. Actually, he did a lot of good for the country, you know, in, in, after the whole shabackle. And I guess in his heart, he still wanted the beloved country of Ireland to be its own nation and the people to be free, so it's not all bad. Thanks, fellas. Nice timing. It's like someone just farting on your fucking eulogy, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, we'll cut past that. Dev, listen, sorry for the the harsh criticisms there, but love you, man. Thanks for everything. Bye. And there's a squirrel. And look at that. an opportune moment there for a play to your squirrel. Thanks for that footage. There he is again. How are you doing buddy? All chap. Lead me on to Dev's grave, are you? Finish up our journey. With the big fella himself. So we're gonna, uh, we're just approaching this grave right now. So I'll stop it and, and see. It's a nice, nice location. This is the big fellow himself, or as I call him, the big fella. First of all, it's an honor. You are an absolute legend. And, uh, you know, thank you for everything you did for this country, for the freedom that we had a taste of, at least for a little bit there. It was kind of nice, wasn't it? Was it worth all the, the hassle? It was just a starter, wasn't it? It was just a starter. I'm liking the tri colours. Uh, salted around the place. And then also the Star Spangled Banner has made an appearance. Obviously from our Irish American brethren. That's him, it's the big fella himself. That's the man, the myth, the legend. As promised, there it is. Tell us what we're gonna do, because I'm an idiot. I was just saying we're gonna go down through that really old part. Down see, here? See how old these stones get. It's on the way down to the grave diggers. The grave diggers, of course, is the libation point for this particular excursion. All true patriots full of need ghosts and points. Yeah, full of ghosts and points. You need your libations. The entire history of the free world is based around alcohol.
Let me tell you something, these were well earned. My phone battery, Dev, Dev the cheeky old devil playing with my phone. The whole battery drained. So, uh, there you go, this is the final. Thank you all for supporting the channel. Thank you all for coming along with us on this particular journey. Uh, I think we've definitely earned these, huh? Mm -hmm. Apparently the best point in, in all of Ireland. The best Irish soup. So I uh, slaunch in my car and uh, party on, Wayne. Say, boy. Love you all. Thanks for, for supporting the channel. Slaunch it.